whether that's profitable or not. I mean, he, <coughs> mm. you know, this time we reserve for the announcement. I don't have any announcements or anything uh, written. Uh, but my memory is to an incident I host the house top bottle thing, this is Sister McIntosh. She usually coordinates that. And that's usually held on the fourth Friday evening. This past weekend, we had one on a Saturday at about 3 p.m., and it was great. Uh, repentance was the subject. We had a great lesson. We had a food fellowship after yesterday. We can schedule it at any time, it looks like. We're interested. We should see Sister McIntosh. And Brother Parker does have an open Bible study that's designed especially for you. And you can see him just about any time, you'll be glad to sit down with you and uh, reason with the script from the scriptures with you and uh, send you on a path to uh, study God's word. So we get on Wednesday nights. Wednesday, the Wednesday night place to be is here. The Central Area Church of Christ for our Wednesday night Bible study. We've had some great classes these past Wednesdays, so you should have joined us and have your friends join us. They can do us uh, live on Facebook. Uh, simply type in facebook.com slash central coc and you can do um, live excerpts or live uh, broadcasts here on Wednesday nights. So this is the Wednesday night place to be. Any other announcements? Any other announcements? Today is a special day. Here after, immediately after our morning worship service, we'll have our annual Black History program and we'll have a program that's uh, scheduled, and we have food uh, after the program, food fellowship, so be sure to hang around for that. And uh, I found some old songs, you were singing old spiritual songs, and they were there, excited about it. Amen. Okay, so I uh, uh, skits and other presentations to make <coughs> when it's like this program. So be sure to hang around, fellowship with us. Immediately after he says, well, it was slight breaking his setup, and he will go with our Black History program in the end. We have our food service. Anything else? 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 Anything
O Lord, thou sovereign day. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. And he answered her, not a word. And his disciples came and he saw her, and saying, Send her away. For she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. And she said, True, Lord. Yet the dogs eat of the farm which fall from their master's table. And Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, Great is the faith, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. And God has a to the real to do with the holy and divine. Amen. 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 Let us bow ahead for it, brother. Our Father, which art in heaven, Father, Lord, and say with Jesus Christ. Father, once again, we bow before your throne, Father, to thank you for all your kind of blessings. Yeah. We're thankful, Father, for this time yeah. that you've allowed us to come out to worship your Father in spirit and in truth. Yeah. As we gather here this morning, Father, we pray for our dear grandson, Brother Paul, yeah. as he prepares to bring us a bed of life. We pray, Father, that he yeah. stay plentiful, he can recall those things that he stay. Yeah. And, Father, that he may say something that can help us to be better Christians than we've been in the past. Yeah. Father, if there's anyone in the audience on this morning that has not I get preach on it about tears when I pray, Father, it's the word will break their hearts. And they will submit and ask, what must I do to be saved? Oh, yeah. Father God, we pray that those of us who are willing to apply to Christ, that we may apply this to our everyday lives, that we can be a light to go out and serve you, O oh, Lord. Amen. It is in Jesus' name we ask it all. Let the church say, Amen. 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 <laughs>
got a trophy on the day. Play the game on that. Just turned 24. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. You can't push it anymore. We're going to celebrate with you after service. Amen. Amen. We're going to celebrate with you. Uh, yeah, praise the Lord. God is blessed us to see another day, another year. Amen. Amen. And we just, we just, we just thank God for that for her. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, Sister Rita is out of ICU. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I heard that beautiful voice on Monday. Is she still talking? Yes, sir. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That, that's what I'm talking about. God is good. Amen. 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 And all the time. God is good. Amen. God is good. God is. He's good. Amen. Boy, I tell you, when I think about the goodness of God, it just, it does something to me. Amen. Amen. Uh, Brother Wilkins, he, he's, he's at home. He's doing wonderful well. God is good. Amen. We thank God for that. We thank God for that. Amen. Yes, uh, Ms. Massey, it's good to have you here with us on this morning. The grace Amen. always be your beautiful presence. And we just delight to have you come Amen. and be with us on this morning. Yes. Well, you, you, you know, you know, Ms. Massey, uh, she's at Bible class every Wednesday night. Amen. It's been one or two. She's been here. And and, 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 and and Bible class gets started at 7 o'clock. <laughs> She'd be parked in the parking lot no later than 6.30. Uh, I say it's time to quit Bible class. She said, well, no, we can keep on going. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I, 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 I hunger and thirst for, for righteousness. And I love people who hunger and thirst for this righteousness. Amen. 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 So, Scott, you look like you got some company with you back there. Mm -hmm. uh, young lady, we want you to know that you are on a guest as well, and we're delighted to have you come be with us. Amen. Amen. Brother Parker, this is my cousin that you spoke with, Wanda Dean from uh, Las Vegas. From Ve Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Yes, and she could not Amen. leave without seeing you. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is a delight and we thank God for your traveling grace. Amen. I don't know how long you're going to stay, but we pray for your safety while you're here. And when you depart and go his home, we pray that God will give you safe passage back to the Lost Vegas. Amen. I was in Las Vegas, oh, I guess it must have been about two years ago. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. I was there doing the lecture ship. Three months. <coughs> I was doing the lecture ship. Let's <laughs> 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 I was invited to a lecture ship. <laughs> and I did not stop in no big casinos down there. Amen. <laughs> I was in a hotel and had them all around. Yes, no machine, no, no. One arm, one arm, yeah, that, that, that one arm must. Amen. Amen. Boy, I tell you, I tell you, I, I, I was so glad you went around with that. Praise the Lord. Ah. Oh, I tell you, God is good. There's another young lady that's back there that don't look for me. But we're delighted to have you with us here. Amen. Amen. It's always good to see my sisters here with me on the day. Amen. Sister. In, in, in a 
wonderful way of telling you. I'm telling you. The Lord is just opening up the window. Somebody said, well, Father, we all have a bunch of numbers. Numbers, if it, 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 it doesn't make a few, you got 2,000 members, and every one of them spiritually dead. Wow. Amen. Amen. Numbers, numbers don't make the church. Wow. Numbers don't make the church. Amen. We love to have the numbers. Amen. But, but we thank God for what we got. Amen. We thank God for what we got. And when you see fit, he'll do more than what he has done. Amen. We thank God for what God. Uh, but uh, uh, there's a young lady in this congregation. And I always say that, that love is an action word. And we, 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 we talk love, but there's more talk about love than love. Uh, but when you do something for the Lord, that's a demonstration of love. And uh, uh, Sister Michelle Thomas, she's been ill, y'all know she's been ill. Uh, but uh, Sister Thomas, Lord put on her heart, and when the Lord blessed her, she in turn showered a blessing on the church. Amen. Amen. And we Amen. thank God for that. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Boy, I tell you, I tell you, I, that's, that's all I'm gonna say. She might not want me to say much more than that. Well, well. But just just say that the Lord been good to her. Amen. And she demonstrated to the Lord how much she appreciated. Well now. Is well, that all right? Oh, yeah. Don't get jealous. Don't get jealous. Just, just do that. Amen. Amen. Don't get jealous. Well. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. But brother, but Parker. You know you preach long. Why you just introduction so long? <laughs> Amen. 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 Y'all got Matthew 15, 21 through 28, read so beautifully in the healing Amen. Y'all got that? Amen. Okay, just hold it for a few minutes. Amen. We had a wonderful time on yesterday. Oh, yeah. Every month we do house to house. And we have Bible class. We went, before the pandemic, we would go to each other's house and study like they did for the century. Since the pandemic, we come here and we study. And we had a wonderful time on the study of repentance. And so many of us think we know what repentance is. But we don't know that we don't know. Amen. 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 But we, we got a good understanding of what repentance was on yesterday evening. And we thank so very much uh, for Sister Blaine and Sister Tally Amen. for hosting the house to house. Oh, they had, they had,
of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. They didn't know she wasn't crying after us. They were, she was crying after him. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we get it twisted, don't we? Yes. But he answered and said, I am not sent. Watch it now. Unto the, uh, uh, brother, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. And she said, Lord, yet the dogs eat the crumbs which falls from the master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her door was made a home from that very hour. Mm -hmm. Sister Dr. Brooker, a crumb from Jesus' hand is more than enough. Amen. I'm always, church family, in the business of encouraging us in the building up of our faith. You see, our faith in the Lord is the key to the relationship with Him. Amen. It is the key to accomplishing the purpose, the goal, the desires uh, down here. It is the key for making heaven our home in the afterlife. Is there anybody in this audience, even in this audience this morning, who has a need in your life? Well, rather, 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 rather than, than asking the question, I would dare to say that most people in this audience have one or more major needs in your life. And you can't see how that need is going to be met. Some people are looking at devastating family problems. Some people are looking at financial difficulties. Some are looking at a problem with a child or with their children. Some are looking at their own soul and, and, and realizing that they are lost. Some are looking Lord Jesus, help us, at their parents. And, and, and they're realizing that their parents are not going to live for God. Some are looking at a disease and wondering what lies ahead. You know, church family, I can literally stand here all day and, and not exalt my, uh, exhaust my list of problems that people are facing today, but in the midst of your problems, you need someone to help. You need someone that you can turn to uh, 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 that will help you with your solution. Oh, yeah. You need God to, to work in your life. You, you, you don't need him to lift every burden, just the, the heaviest. Amen. You don't need him to, to move every mountain, just the highest. Amen. You don't need God to give you a 
whole lot. Just the crown. That is the situation, church family, that we are looking at in this text, in this passage of scripture on this morning. Jesus is approached by a mother who, 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 who is in, in a desperate situation. She, she comes to the Lord with a need, and as she comes, she, she's not asking for a loan. She, she just, she's just asking for a crumb. She knows that just a little is better than nothing at all. As we study uh, 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 this text today, I, I, I want you to know that there is hope for your situation on today. No matter what it is that you're going through, no matter what it is that you think you need today, God holds the key to what you need. But, but it's going to take, watch this now, it's going to take true faith. The faith that, that makes you go when you don't want to go. That, that, that faith that, that makes you hold on when you don't want to hold on anymore. Amen. I, 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 I want to uh, 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 take you to this text. <coughs> and the plight of this poor woman. And share just a few thoughts. Amen. Amen. Just a few thoughts that that teaches us that that that, that a crumb in Jesus' hand is more than enough. Let us examine the text here. Let us consider uh, this morning the woman's petition. Let, let us consider her request. Let, let us consider uh, 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 this 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 woman's request. Look at verse. Number 22 of the text. The, the text says in verse number 22, And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Uh, 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 my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Let us consider the reason she came to him. This woman came to Jesus because she was concerned about her daughter. The child was demon possessed and, and, and was probably acting out in a violent kind of a way. She, she needed help in a desperate way and, and that's why she came. Yes. But then let us consider the reason she cried. The reason she shouted with a loud voice to Jesus. This woman was, was following after Jesus and, 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 and his disciples uh, shouting to Jesus for help that she, she absolutely needed. Amen. Why was she so frantic? She was, she was heartbroken. Mm. She was heartbroken over the conditions of her daughter and, 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 and she was determined to get the help that she needed by any means necessary. All she wanted to do was just help her child. Amen. Amen. Not only why she came, not only why she cried, but, 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 but let us consider why she confronted him. Turn your Bibles, if you would, to Mark chapter 7. Mark, Mark chapter 7, and let us consider, if you would, verse number 25, uh, the sister text to uh, uh, Matthew's here. The Bible says in Mark chapter 7 and verse number 5, for a certain woman, listen to the text, whose young daughter had an unclean spirit, watch this now, heard of him. Mm. She heard of him and came and fell at his feet. Listen to that. Mark says that this woman heard of Jesus. She heard of him. Uh, uh, probably just, just traveling uh, uh, through the coast. She, she, she heard of Jesus perhaps. She had heard that how that, that, that Jesus had healed all manner of diseases. How that he opened blinded eyes. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe she heard Demons, then 
can identify with this poor, anxious woman. Listen, listen, listen. Perhaps you're dealing with, 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 with an, 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 an out of control child or an out of control mate. I, I don't know. Perhaps you are at, at your wit's end over a situation in your life. I, I, I don't know what it is. Perhaps you have exhausted every means at your disposal and you don't know where to turn. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe you are sick and tired of just being sick and tired. Oh, Amen. And, 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 and this world uh, is just beating you up and, and you need salvation. You need restoration uh, through Jesus Christ. I don't know what your situation is. You know, sometimes some, sometime the Lord is, is begging for us to come to him. He, he, he wants us to come to him. And he wants us to surrender our will. And, and, and we're so caught up in the world. We, 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 we are so uh, in, entrenched in trying to please this whole world. And the world is, is taking us down, down, and down. Maybe, maybe we are investing in the world, but the world is not investing in us. Maybe it's just a situation where, 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 where you do giving and, 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 and the world is, is doing all the receiving. Amen. And you want something different. You're just so sick and tired of being sick and tired. You've been out of this world. You've been wrestling with this world for so long. And, 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 and all the world has given you is heartache, the heart trouble. And the world has just disappointed you. And it is about time to make a change. It is about time to try something different. Is that all right? Yeah. I don't know what your situation is, but, 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 but I know life. Amen. And, and regardless of, of what you are facing in life today, you've got to know that Jesus is the answer. Amen. He's the answer. Amen. He's the answer. You done tried, you done tried your boyfriend. You done tried your girlfriend. You, 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 you done tried this, that, and the other. And, 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 and it has been nothing but failure. And, uh, you, you, you got the head for a day and then you're behind for a whole month. I don't know. Well. But Jesus is the answer. Yes, he is. Amen. You see, he can remove your mountains. Am I right about it? He can meet your needs. And he, he can save your soul. He can forgive you of your sins. He can touch your loved one. He can do it. Amen. He can do it, church. He, he can do it. But, but you got to get close to him. And you must understand that this woman in our text, she realized that she had to get close to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, the book is beautiful. Amen. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 11 and verse number 28, he says, come unto me. All ye that labor and are here to labor, I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn to be for I'm meek and lonely and hard and you shall find rest unto your soul for my yoke is easy and my burden is, is light. Jesus is simply saying, yoke up with me. Get close enough to me where I can touch you. Oh, we have, we have, we have to get close to Jesus. We, we, we want Jesus. Yeah, but but uh, we want Jesus to want us, but we don't want Jesus. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Let me say that again. We, we want Jesus to want us, but we don't want Jesus. We, 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 we want to deal with him, but we want to deal with him from a distance. Amen. We, 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 we want him, but we don't want to obey him. We, 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 we want him, but we don't want to submit to him. We, we want him, but, 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 but we want him to want us, but we want the world. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That's right, man. Yes, sir. But Jesus said, come to me. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. I surrender your will. Give, give me you and, and let me work on you. Submit yourself to me and let me work on you. And I'll make you, I'll move you, I'll shape you into what I want you to be. And you'll surely be happy. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Oh, I, 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 all, all I'm saying, church family, is, is, that, is, is that you don't 
have to bear your burden alone. Amen. Oh yeah, I, I know. I know you think you got some wide shoulders. I know you think that you can you can bear anything. But if the truth be told, you 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 can't bear anything and everything. You need some help. Am I right about it? You, you need some help, and, and 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 the best help that you can get. It's all right to, to ask me to help you. I, I can help you, and I'll help you if I can. But I'm limited. I'm limited in my help. Amen. I, I I I can't help you like Jesus can help you. You understand? I, 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 I love you, but I can't love you like Jesus loves you. I, 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 I just need for us to know that 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 that, 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 that we have somebody who's willing and ready and able to help us bear our burden. Yes, amen. Oh, listen to David in Psalms 55 and verse 22. David said, cast uh, 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 thy burdens upon the Lord. Watch this now. And he shall sustain thee. Listen to him. Watch him now. Watch him. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. He, he has promised that he will keep the righteous. Lord have mercy. Now don't you want to be righteous uh, knowing that Jesus, he has the power, the ability, he's capable of, uh, of, of keeping you and, 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 and from being moved. Oh, praise the Lord. Listen to the Hebrew writer in Hebrews chapter 4 and the verses number 15. Listen, listen to the Hebrew writer. He says, he says, for, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. Watch him now. But, 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 but was in all points tempted. Every time you turn around, yeah. Satan was tempting him. Yeah. Like as we are, yet without sin. Watch him now. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Watch him. That we may obtain mercy and find grace that to help us in time. Don't you know you don't have to bear your burden at all? Jesus, Jesus won't, he wants to help us. He wants to, he, he wants to, to carry us through our, our storms, through our burdens. In 1 Peter 5 and 17, he says, cast all your cares upon him. Who is him? Jesus, for he carried for you. Amen. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Amen. That's a beautiful thing. Now, 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 her petition, not only her request, but, but, but let us consider the woman's persistence. She was persistent. Look at your text. Look at Matthew 15, if you would, and, and consider verse number, uh, uh, verse number uh, 25. Uh, the text says in verse number 25 and uh, through verse number 27, the Bible said, watch this now, then came she and worshipped him. Say, Lord, help me. Watch, watch your sister. And he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dog. He's calling her a dog. What is she? She's at his feet, worshiping him. She's still at his feet, worshiping him. She's her sister. Look at your Bible. Watch this now. And she said, true, Lord. You're right about it. No doubt about it. You're right about it. Yet the dogs eat the crumbs which, fall, which falls from the master's table. I believe he said, man. I don't call her dog. I didn't ignore her. She's at my feet. And then she'll turn around and say, You're right about that. Call me what you want to call. Yes, Lord. <laughs> call me whatever you feel you want to call. Mm -hmm. But I'm still me. Mm -hmm. And I'm still saying to you, you're right about it. Right. But even the dog. Why not eat the whole loaf? But while the master is eating in the crumb that falls from his mouth and to the floor, he allows for the dog to eat that. Amen. Persistence. Persistence. Look at the next.
next verse here. Uh, the book said, Then Jesus answered. What was that? Verse number 27. Uh, 25 to 27. Uh, I think that. Woo, that's powerful. Man. Persistence. This woman come to Jesus. She comes to him for help. And when she doesn't get a response, she imagines. She follows Jesus until she got what she wanted. Isn't that a beautiful thing? She, she didn't give up. She was persistent. I want us to know, church family, she had obstacles, not one, but she had obstacles to her faith to overcome. Let me say that again. She had obstacles. Mm -hmm. nah. Obstacles. Plural. To her faith she had to overcome. Mm -hmm. nah. Nah. <clears throat> Let me, if you would, share with you some of those obstacles. She had to overcome race. And verse 21 tells us that she was of time inside. Verse number 2 tells us that she was a Canaanite woman. She was from the region that practice idolatry worship. She was a Gentile. She had not only to overcome race. Yeah, race was an issue, but that was just one obstacle. She had another obstacle to overcome. She had to overcome religion. She, she, she came to Jesus. And she called out to him, the text says, have mercy on me, thou son of David. She had no business. She had absolutely no business coming to Jesus in the name of Judaism. Lord have mercy. She was a Gentile. At verse number 23, he answered her not a word. She had grace to contend with. She had religion to contend with. But not only that, she had rejection to overcome. Yes, Lord. Jesus ignored her two times. And his disciple, his disciple turned her away. Go about your business. We ain't got time. And the third time, the third time, Lord Jesus, Jesus had the audacity to call this woman a dog. Ooh. Some of us are looking at some of the same barriers, some of the same obstacles. Uh, 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 today, some of us are having to deal with race-related issues on the job or wherever in the neighborhood, in the community, in the world. Some of us are having to deal with religious uh, 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 obstacles that, uh, to, uh, that you got to contend with, that you got to deal with. Some of us are having to deal with rejection. And it just seems like every time it turns around, somebody is rejecting us. We're trying to get ahead, and, but we're being rejected on, on every hand. And if it's not one thing, then it's another. All the Listen carefully. Let me tell you. You can come to Jesus and he'll never turn away. Amen. I, I, I'm telling you, you can come to him. He'll never, he'll never turn you away. As a matter of fact, Jesus
Jesus said in John 6 and verse number 37, he said, And all, all that the Father giveth me shall come unto me. Amen. Amen. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Turn away. Did you hear what he said? Others have been praying and seeking God for something. Somebody know what I'm talking about. But, 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 but there has been no answer. You've been asking God. But he hadn't answered you. You're feeling some kind of way. You, 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 you're feeling like giving up. Mm. Like losing it and letting it go. Let me encourage you today. You got to listen closely to me. Let me encourage you today. God's silence is no indication of God's unwillingness to meet your needs. Let me, let me, let me say that. You need to hear this. Because you're looking good, you're smelling good, you're, and, and you're walking good, and you're talking good, but, but, but behind all that facade, in, in, in the depths of your heart, you, you're feeling some kind of pain. You're feeling lonely and destitute. You, you're feeling all by yourself. You've been talking to God, but God hasn't been talking to you. Mm. Mm. But you must understand that, that, that God's silence <coughs> is no indication that God is, uh, is unwilling to meet your needs. Remember that. You've got to understand that there is a method to the madness. Let us, let us consider the 
opportunity for this woman's family. Look at, if you would, at Matthew's and Mark chapter 7. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank God for this beautiful word. Amen. Amen. Mark chapter 7. The book said in Mark chapter 7, the book said, But Jesus said unto her, Let the children, watch this now, first be filled. Watch it now. Watch this. Watch this. But it's, it's tight. It's a tight fight right here. For it is not meat to take the children's bread and cast it under dogs. Mark, Mark's uh, 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 lends a little bit more detail. The detail that he lends is, is important. Amen. Listen, listen to the text. Uh, somebody will read this and read that text and, and, and you missed it. You missed it. You missed it. But when you're in the trenches, amen, when, when you're going through it, uh, uh, something, when you're deep in it, you, 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 you hear, you hear the Lord talking and, 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 and you just want to hear something in that sentence that he said that's going to give you some hope. As Jesus speaks with her, watch it. She realizes that he never slams the door of hope in her face. Look at the text. He says, let the children first be filled. That's all she wanted to hear. That word faith, a uh, first. What's what this mother wanted to hear? Are you listening to Jesus while you're in your storm? Are you listening to him? Do you hear what he's saying? This woman was in her storm. And all she needed to hear was first. That, 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 that's first. First, she relied now. She realized that there is a chance. <coughs> There's a chance for her daughter to be healed. She, she, she understood that, that she had to be patient. Patient. Galatians 6 and verse number 10. Uh, listen to, to Paul. Paul says, as if therefore opportunity, watch it now, let us do good to all people, but especially. They are the household of faith. Take care of the household of faith first. You see, I'll be through just a minute. These obstacles that were placed before her mm, was not designed to discourage her. Amen. It was not to designed to defeat this lady. The obstacles that were placed before her, they were designed to mature her faith. Mm. Y'all missed that. Y'all missed that. See, you, you, you're so focused. You're so focused on what you're trying to get and you ain't getting what you're trying to get. And, 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 and you're focused on what you're trying to get and you, you're focused on what you're trying to get and, and, and God is not, he's not cooperating but you're focused on what you're trying to get. You want to get what you want to get and you can't get what you want to get and so it's discouraging to you but you got to understand that the obstacle is designed to mature you in your faith. How mm. people can just be. be patient. You see, when you look at this text, watch, watch the progression. When you look at the text, when you look at the text, watch, watch her progression. What watch, watch is at verse 22? She calls on Jesus, no answer, right? At verse 24, 25, he, he gives her her hope and, and she worships him. At 26 and 27, Jesus calls her a pet. And, 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 and she was persistent. Can you see how Jesus took her from a small faith to great faith? Can you see? 
if we let it. We just need to be persistent. In other words, church family, we can't. We can't give up. Amen. Amen. I don't care what you call it. I don't care how difficult it is or with what you're going through. You can't give up on Jesus. Is it all right? I'm going to be finished here in just a minute. I'll be finishing in just a minute. Consider the obligations of a faith. Uh, and I'm trying to finish this because I ain't going to be able to finish it tonight. Because we don't have, uh, have worship tonight. There has to be an obligation, a commitment, or duty on our part. Did you hear what I said? We, we, we know a lot of people who have given up a, a long sitting in this audience. You have given up on Jesus a long time ago. You, you're just going through the motion, but you've really given up on him. You are in the midst of frustration. You're saying, I, I, I don't need this uh, so much for this God who talks about love. If he loved me, he would do something for me. I don't want anything else to do with this God or religion because he's not helping me. There are brethren who have left the faith for lack of faith. There are those who have turned to agnosticism. There are those who have turned to atheism because God didn't operate. He didn't act. He didn't do wonders in their life when he when they felt like he ought to have. She persisted in spite of everything. Why? Because she had too much at stake. Lord help us. She had too much at stake. Her little daughter needed to be released from, from her bondage with Satan. Amen. That, 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 that there was an obligated faith on this woman's part. She may have, may have understood that a crown may have been uh, all that she could get, but she knew that a crown from the master's hand, from Jesus' hands, was more than enough. So the question is, how much does your problem need to you? Have you encountered some obstacles along the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that have made you throw up your hands. That have made you just throw in the towel. Uh, 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 you, you, you quit seeking Jesus. Somebody in here, you quit seeking Jesus. You, you, you are no longer seeking Jesus. You, 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 you just, you just There's a pride. There's a pride. Amen. 
Look at verse 28. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her door was made whole from that very hour. Consider Jesus' response to a faith. He was so amazed. He was so amazed at the depths of her faith. He challenged her faith. Mm -hmm. And it was more powerful. Listen close. It was more powerful than any Jewish scribe, any Pharisee, any Sadducee, any priest that he had ever come in contact with. Mm -hmm. The kind of faith that Jesus loved. Jesus rewarded her. He rewarded her with faith by giving her exactly what she asked for. Mm -hmm. He healed the door. Her faith was so strong that she didn't have to have proof. Mm. But she took Jesus and his word. Amen. What a blessing. Amen. What a blessing. Oh, yeah, what a blessing. Amen. I realized, church family, her faith, uh, her faith uh, was rewarded. And I realized that, that, that some of us in this room this morning, you're looking at your situation. You're looking at your problem. They are every bit as hard at this moment as this moment. Mm -hmm. You've prayed, but things remain the same. The devil is saying to you, there is no use. God doesn't care. It, it's never going to work out for you. And you fall into that, that rascal. But take heart today. Take heart as I close. There is hope. Mm. Amen. Today might be the day when the master responds to your cry. Amen. Today might be your day, Lord Jesus. When, he, when, when your mountain is removed Amen. out of your life. Today might be the day when God speaks to your soul and say, it's going to be all right. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. I've taken care of your mountain. Today might be the day when his peace replaces your pain. Amen. And give you what you need. Bring that need to Jesus. Amen. Again, today, I say again, because you brought it before once and he didn't work it out, so you just let Jesus bring it again. Amen. Bring it again. Bring it to him and place it in his hands. Amen. Watch him. Take it and, and make it what it ought to be. Look with me. For just a minute. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. He's powerful. You serve a powerful God. Amen. He's an awesome God. Amen. He's a God that cannot fail. Amen. He's a God that cannot lie. Amen. He's an awesome God. Amen. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. I know he's awesome. Oh yeah. I know he also because he took Jared, uh, Jared placed his daughter in Jesus' hand. Amen. And she came back to life, didn't he? Yeah. Mary and Martha placed Lazarus in Jesus' hand and, and he spoke and he came yeah. back from the dead. Yeah. A little boy placed two fish and five loaves of bread in Jesus' hand and he fell and fed a multitude of 5,000, not including women. And children. The disciples in a boat place, uh, in a storm place, they set their lives to Jesus' hand and he let Peter walk on the wall and then he turned to the raging sea and said, Peace! Mm -hmm. 
gracious self in Jesus' hand. You don't put yourself in everybody else's hand. And maybe you play yourself just a tad bit in Jesus' hand. Just a tad bit. You, you, you were looking for a whole loaf for Luther. And it didn't work out. Will you trust him enough? Will you say yes to him? Will you fully just jump wholeheartedly in his hands? If you do, I promise you that he will never fail thee. Amen. Nor forsake. He's calling for you right now. He's calling for you right now. I don't know, maybe you have not obeyed the gospel of Jesus Christ. Maybe you have not surrendered yourself to the pattern. Jesus and all God, the Godhead body has always had a pattern. And y'all know what a pattern is. It, 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 it's, it, it, it's a form of that. And whatever the pattern, if you follow the pattern, it, you, you will make whatever the pattern is. He's always had a pattern. Yes, he has. Yeah, he had a pattern. He had a pattern for Noah to build the ark. He told him specifically how to build the ark. And Noah built the ark. And the Bible said, and as God commanded Noah, so did he. Pattern. He gave, he gave Moses, he gave Moses a pattern to build the tent. The temporary temple. Uh, Moses did exactly what God told him to do and how God told him to do it. And the Bible said, and God commanded Moses. So did he. God gave David a pattern for the, 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 the temple, the permanent temple. David couldn't build that temple because his hands were blood. Gave it to Solomon and Solomon built the temple according to the pattern. Jesus established the church. And, he, and he's, he's laid out a pattern. Just like he did in the old time, a pattern. And if we're going to be a, 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 a members of that church, we have to follow the pattern that he has laid out in the Bible. Amen. You can't deviate to the left or to the right. You've got to follow the pattern. And if you follow the pattern, you will get exactly what the first century church was. And that's just a Christian without any prefixes or suffixes. Just a Christian. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. And I want to encourage you. Here's his pattern to obey the gospel. I know that there's some other uh, uh, people out there talking. Some folks all you have to do is just confess to me and, 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 and believe on me. And, and he'll say, that's not his pattern. Some folks say, all you got to do is call on, just call on the Lord, save me. That's not his pattern. Here's his pattern. His pattern is that you, before you can do anything, you have to hear the word of God. Yes. You got to hear the gospel. And when the gospel is preached, you, 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 you understand why Jesus came. You understand that he lived, suffered, and died a cruel death on the cross of Calvary. But you can't preach Jesus without preaching the church. Because he shed his blood for the church. Amen. The church was bought and paid for by his precious blood. Amen. Amen. That's the pattern. That's the pattern. Yes, and when we preach Jesus and the kingdom, when the heart is right, that heart will surrender to the will of Jesus. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Let's try to encourage you this morning. Here, here's this pattern of the salvation. We must hear the gospel. I shared with you the gospel. You, we, we must believe it. Because without belief, without faith, it is impossible to please God. And so you've got to, you got to believe it enough to act on what God says. Not what you feel, not what somebody else says, but what God says. And then in doing so, you repent. You, you change your will. You change your way. You change your life. And you bear fruit, meat for repentance. You do what God says. Jesus said, I 
not take your faith, but accept you repent. You all likewise perish. He said it twice. Verse 3 and verse number 5 of Luke 13. In other words, he's placing emphasis on if you don't do what I tell you to do, if you don't change, you're going to hell. And then confess Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. You do that if you confess it. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Don't confess your sin. No one coming into the body ever confessed their sin. They confess Jesus. And they'll go down in that watery grave of baptism. The water is ready. The clothes are ready. The baptized is ready. Everything is ready. The Godhead body, they're here uh, uh, in spirit. They're here waiting. The angels in heaven are waiting for you to make the greatest decision that you could ever make in your entire life. You got to be, you got to be persistent. Yeah, you got to be persistent if you want the prize. Amen. Amen. I'm before you right now to invite you to come as together. If you hear the child of God, you see it, and you need to fix it. Fix what's broken as together. We stand and say, God bless you. Put God the end in there. Jesus is calling. Calling for you and for me. See all the portals he's waiting and watching. Watching for you and for me. Her death 
after the funeral. So, um, oh, I guess I got a little sh shake of his face, but I'm asking for you all to pray for me. Um, um, I have sinned for second day assembly. I'm asking for the prayer for the righteous, for God to forgive me. And you all please amen. keep me in prayer. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen